Hello there everybody! So today I'll be painting this lovely duck using the Montmartre Satin Acrylic 8-piece intro set. But before we get into it, if you love art, then check out our other free art lessons at www.montmart.net and while you're there, you might like to join our art club, The Creative Connection, and join us on Facebook maybe too. Well, because we'd love to meet you. There is a downloadable PDF attached to this lesson with detailed steps, a duck outline and some lily templates. And we are going to suggest ripples and reflections, like from the trees there, in blocks of tone. So, let's paint a duck. The only information you need to transfer onto the canvas is the duck outline. Shade the back side of the printout, flip it over and retrace it with a biro. Once you have the outline, you can add any detail in with the pencil.
appreciate the lilies by painting the white shapes in freehand. And if you are not yet an adult, then this is preferable, as hobby knives are very sharp and not recommended for use by adolescents. Once the white is dry, lay out some titanium white, mid green and lemon yellow. The trick here is to roughly mix the colour directly on the canvas to get some variation in the lily pads. Use that filbert brush again and keep going until all the lily pads are coloured. You might like to add more lily pads to your scene or maybe less. You might like to omit the duck as well and just paint the lilies and that's fine too. The actual lily flowers in this project are simplified to a number of acute petals laid in first with titanium white. I had a flower not yet in bloom too. We then lay in a pink created from scarlet and white and then lay pure scarlet into the middle of the flower. Blend it in and then lay the petals in with a lighter tone around the outside. This way you create some depth and perspective. Just ensure those front petals are considerably lighter. We then create the outer green petals. It is best to use a small round for the flowers and again you could put in as many or as few as you want. The duck is the most challenging part of this project but also the most fun I think. The first part is to lay in a white base. I like to do this in stages so any important construction lines can be kept. I also make areas in highlight lighter, more or less to remind me when laying in a top coat. I roughly tonally build this as I go and keep the head area free of colour as it is green. Actually, most ducks are essentially a similar shape, so one could paint any type of duck just by changing the markings. I like to encourage that sort of thing. Incidentally, the duck depicted in this painting is a mallard and was introduced to Australia last century from Europe. Actually, they are in about every major city in the world, including China, India, the Americas and North Africa. Refer to the PDF lesson plan if you need any more guidance regarding the colours I've used. wax crayon and I'm going to use it to lay guidelines in around my duck so I know where to lay the paint in. 
This will suggest the light catching the ripples. Yes, wax is a resist, but the little amount used will be fine. To create a fine tip, you can sharpen the crayon in a pencil sharpener. Use that filbert again and fill in the areas. If you need some guidance on what shapes to suggest, refer to the first image in the PDF. But suffice to say, the ripples emit out in a series of elliptical circular shapes. And it is just as important to create a stylized, balanced pattern with this application. We are simplifying this phenomenon of light, but this simplified handling is in keeping with the rest of the work. Get into the habit of continually standing back and reviewing your work. And remember, balance is the key. Tie that blue into the rest of the painting by adding some of the colour into the other ripples as well. And voila! Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Grab some satin acrylic and see what you can come up with. See you next time!